guys, it's Justin Parnell back again with another episode of Journey of Discovery, the free-to-play MTG Arena series. If you want to see more content like this, be sure to subscribe to this channel. Leave a comment, a like, and a share if you don't mind too. Uh, if you want to listen to the Think Twice podcast, search Think Twice MTG on all audio platforms including SoundCloud, iTunes, Google Play Music, Stitcher, and Spotify. If you want to support the show, go to patreon.com slash thinktwicemtg. All right. Uh, this week we have a little Ravnica block constructed event. And this is one that I have played six or seven times. Um, and I've been playing exclusively with a Teamer Gates deck. The Ravnica block constructed event can only play with cards from Ravnica, Allegiance, and Guild of Ravnica. So we have a nice little smattering of, of both in here. Uh, this deck is pretty straightforward. It's a lot of four ofs. Uh, everything that has to do with gate cards, essentially, in these colors. It hits hard. And then we have two Rhythm of the Wild, which is really important to killing our opponent. With Gatebreaker Ram and Gate Colossus. As well as two... Raul is it Viceroy as a another way to win and to kind of uh, smooth our, our draws a little bit and something something for the mid game. But this deck has been pretty powerful. I've only I think uh, I have I've, I've only failed to reach five wins one time. So of course uh, this is probably going to be one where I go uh, one and two, but I doubt it. This deck has been pretty powerful. People have started to catch on a little bit over the weekend, notably. Uh, the mana base for this deck is four Simic, Gruel, and Izzet Guildgates. And I have a couple of Shock Lands so I can have things come into play and tapped. I don't have any uh, Plaza of Harmony, though if I did, those would replace um, one of each of these lands and then a second island. But we don't, and it's pretty been pretty much fine as is, and I didn't want to use any of my wild cards to craft it, so we won't. All right. We're in the event. Five wins is our goal, best one. Let's get going. This hand looks solid, but we don't have any green, which is not not super great, but we do oh, we, we do have Rhythm of, the, Rhythm of the Wild and Gatebreaker Ram. Fortunately, I found that this deck mulligans pretty well. You, you'd never need all of your cards to win um, with, with things that search for lands out and uh, Guild Summit. Okay, so well, this is a quite an interesting hand. Uh, I am going to keep this, though. <laughs> as odd as this looks, especially with a scry, this is essentially going to get us another land, and we'll look for another land here. We have 24 in the deck. We have a Gilgate on top, which we'll keep. And we'll play the Gilgate first. Another lava coil. Okay, so we're gonna get an is it guild gate with this one and then play it. Should be able to stifle some some aggression with our two lava coils. Um then we either need to hit a ram or a guild summit. Or just something. We have a lot of draws. And Blade Instructor, we're just going to go ahead and take out. Um, now that we've drawn the Gates of Blaze, I actually think that I would rather wait and just take three. So we can try to get a two for one. As you hear the disgusting noise on Breeding Pool. Alright. And here is our, uh, our three damage for our two for one, which we'll take. Gates ablaze. This card is ridiculous in this. Something to note is this could never kill your ram because your ram will always have two toughness left after the gates are set ablaze. So our opponent's plague crafting to get us to discard. We'll just discard one of these gate classes. They'll be back later. 
We'll do that again if our opponent wants us to do that again. Happily. Okay, so now all we need to do is hit another land. Any point. Divine Visitation. Okay, that could certainly be a problem. Uh, let's go ahead and Growth Spiral, see if we can find a land. We don't find a land from Growth Spiral, but we do find an Open the Gates. So we want a blue and green, so we want a Simic Guild Gate. And we'll decline for now. We'll certainly be getting the, the Gate Colossus back later, though. This Divine Visitation is scary, obviously. I mean, our opponent hasn't done anything to make tokens, but I'm sure they wanted to wait until they got this down before that was the case. Okay, they're going to exile our Colossus. Which is fine, we have two more. Okay, so we are, rather than playing Rao, we're going to get some more mana. And we're going to get a Gruul and an Izzet Gilgate. This will allow us to play Rao and then also play Lava Coil next turn. Um, okay, Gruul, is it? And then, of course, we can also play... Uh, multiple gate colossus and if we draw another gate or really any other land we can play two gate colossus and a lava coil light of the legion okay this is going to hit for five so we have five in here so we can we can actually take out the light of the legion. Yep, we'll do that then. Five. You're messing up. Deal at five. Night of Autumn gaining four, perhaps. Probably becoming a four three. Yep, four three it is. Well, we're fading whatever they have on this divine visitation. And they could certainly get our row with a, a plague crafter. But then if we draw a gate, we have two gate classes and a gate breaker ram, which is lethal the following turn. Okay. Rhythm of the Wild would be great. Oh, come on. I just want to peek. The weight is killing me. Um at this point we'll get the ram. Because we just want the guild summit to find us a ram. But instead we can just have a ram. Then we're going to play our two Colossus. Just a bunch of 8 8s. No big deal. An opponent could Knight of Autumn one of these and maybe Plague Crafter the other one, but either way, uh, they're going to be in bad shape against the Gatebreaker Ram. 
I found the Gatebreaker Ram just to be more powerful just because it gets Vigilance and Trample, even though this can't be blocked by small creatures. Um, these are more disposable because they can easily come back when you play Gates. Kaya, okay. I'll phase through anything that stands in my way. So, we don't have any creatures. Opponent could remove their own creatures. Go to 22. Still not going to be enough. Looks like they're hitting our graveyard. I imagine I, th I probably should hit Incense and Sorcery since it matters for Ral. But regardless. May not matter a ton. All right. Let's just see if we can find Rhythm of the Wild just in case they have something. Hey, we do. Look at that. All right. Rhythm of the Wild. Just in case they can make some sort of tokens, which would be four fours. And then we're going to play a hasty 8-8 eight, eight ram. Or we're not. Uh, but we will we will attack our opponent for 24. Alright. One for the gates. All right, game two. This hand looks pretty solid. All we need to do is hit a fourth land at some point, but we actually literally have in this hand on its own all of the tools we need to win. All right, opponent scrying three. I think this is the most overrated card in the entire set of Ravening Allegiance. Well, let's see if it ends up being good. Certainly could be wrong, but... Alright, there's our fourth land. And we are going to play... Okay, there's a Dovin. I believe we're going to play... Tempted to play Rhythm of the Wild. Um, and then next turn, play the Ram. Give it haste. Kill Dovin. And then the following turn, route. I think I I think that's what we're gonna do. And then by the second, though, by the time we do the second one, we should be able to play our our Colossus for nothing. Assume we assume we draw a card in the in the meantime, which which I have no doubt that we will. Yeah, there there's a there's a land, but we're gonna play the Ram. We're gonna give it haste, and we're gonna go ahead and get Dove in here. Only because um, I'm not really worried about our clock. Our opponent's not playing a deck that's going to put a lot of pressure on us. It does not seem like. Luminous Bond? Sure. Alright. We will play another gate. And we're going to go ahead and play a Colossus. We'll give this haste as well. Our opponent could warden it back. Okay, minus four, sure. I 
This is going to be a difficult card for our opponent to beat. Uh, stomping ground. We'll play that tapped. First thing we'll do is attack. Actually, we're going to play untapped in case our opponent has spell pierce. Un unlikely, but not impossible. We're going to get blue. Blue, two blue ones. Okay, here's their Sphinx. We're going to take three here, go to 14. Oh, Guild Summit, great draw. Uh, we will... We'll pay two life. And if they have a counter spell, quench. Okay. Yep, we'll pay two for quench. And we are. We're going to go ahead and tap all of these gates. One, two, three, four, five, six. So if we Circus Route and then draw another Gate Colossus. Yeah, we'll just tap them all. Okay. Our opponent can only only block with the, the Sphinx. So. They do get to Scry 1. Our opponent is attacking for 7. Puts us on a technical two-turn clock, but we do have a lava coil for the Sphinx. If it if it comes to that, of course. We're gonna have at least three draws, probably close to four on our turn. Rowl's a good one. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is circuitous route. And we're just going to get two gates. Draw two. Gates ablaze. That's a good one. All right. Let's let's attempt to let's attempt to just play this first. Actually. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that would kill the Colossus. Which we can imme we can immediately get the Colossus back. Actually, I think we want to do that. Then we can get a gate, put Colossus on top, attack for eight. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Okay. Yep, okay, so then we're going to go get a gate. Unless our opponent counters it. Okay, they didn't. Alright. Player land for the turn. Trigger Colossus. Draw Colossus. Play Colossus. We'll give it haste. Alright, that's enough for our opponent. All right, uh, game three, this is a great hand. We'll keep this. We're gonna play Steam Vents untapped on turn two. So we can Growth Spiral. Okay, now we're not gonna Steam Vents. We're going to just play this and we'll, we'll pass. We can grow a spiral at the end of our opponent's turn. Red white, that means these gates of blades are gonna probably be pretty good. Uh, 
This is the old steal the play card. Alright. We'll pay two. Circuitous route. And we will get Simic and Gruel Gates. Next turn we can play Rhythm of the Wild and play Gate Colossus. Hone is also casting Rhythm of the Wild. Gate. Rhythm of the Wild. Gate Colossus. Yep. Now we're going to get on the board first, though. First, second, third. Any other threat will kill our opponent immediately. If, if it even gets to that. I have a feeling that that's, it's not going to be necessary. Any creature our opponent plays is going to bite the dust to these Gates Ablaze. And then if somehow Gate Colossus finds its way to the graveyard, we will uh, put it back on top. Light of Autumn. Okay. This can kill our Colossus. Ooh, gaining four. That's interesting. Okay. That doesn't help. The, the clock is not helped by gaining four here. So. Let's go ahead and open the gates. We'll get an is it gate. Play that. Okay. Our opponent could have another Knight of Autumn. Which we will gate to Blaze next turn. Right now, Gates of Blaze is for six. So, still out of range of anything our opponent could play. Okay, another Knight of Autumn. And I think we'll probably go ahead and take this two for one. Oh, all right. Well, looks like our opponent is going to play the dust of this gate Colossus, which I'm not exactly sure why they didn't uh, destroy, but either way. Okay, we're on the play. This one is a little risky. We need to hit a third land. Any third land will do. Um, we also have open the gates. So I actually think I want to keep this because this is pretty much a sampling every card that we want in this deck. The only hand that this is weak to is a mirror match. I think we can come back against an aggro deck with Gates Ablaze, a control deck with Guild Summit. And if we do hit... If we do hit a third land by turn three, then I think we're just in great shape. Okay. Vicious Rumors. Okay, Gate Colossus will bite the dust. Ugh! Mill to land. Okay, well. Let's get an island just so we can play Guild Summit next turn. Pretty rare that you get a basic, but, you know, every once in a while. Vicious Rumors? Okay, we're going to get rid of this Gates of Blaze. Vicious Rumors? <laughs> uh, we'll get rid of the Ram. Player Guild Summit. If they get us again, I guess we're going to get rid of the route. We'll keep our other guild summits, so every every gate we draw, we draw two. Which should get us back into the game in short order. We can always put gate classes back on top when needed. We've really only lost the, the ram. Burglar rat. Okay. 
We'll discard the route. We'll play another guild summit. This is good. I don't think our opponent is going to be able to interact with, with guild summit. If we can get a third one down. Ooh, we're going to be able to. Yep. I think this game is going to go quite nicely. No gates yet, but we will find them. Rest assured. Okay. This, oh, here's a gate. All right, off to the races. We will not get Gate Colossus quite yet. All right, there's a Rowl. There's a route, and there's another gate. I think we're going to go ahead and get this Burglar Rats. For fourth to discard, we're going to discard a Guild Gate. Now we got to remember we're at four less than this. We're at nine. All right. Let's first play this. We're going to decline on Gate Colossus this turn. The next turn. I guess we're going to get it. It doesn't matter. We can get it back, sure. Yeah, we'll take the action. Put Gate Colossus back on top. Draw two. One. Two. Circuitous route. Uh, right now we're looking at binning. Since we're going to draw six off of this. Binning. Uh, Rowl. Lava Coil. Another Lava Coil. Guild Summit for sure. Okay. Let's see. So we have to discard four. Don't have time for Rowl. We definitely don't have time for Guild Summit. We can bend both Gate Colossus and just get those back next turn. Okay. So those cost three because we have five gates. Six, they'll cost two. So we can get both of them back and then attack for 16 next turn. Which should put us in pretty good shape. Ooh, there's another gate, Colossus. Okay, yep. We're going to take the action on both. Since they only cost two. All right. Rather than the wild. Gate Colossus. Haste again. We played the wrong one, so our opponent still knows they have one in hand. I don't think it's going to matter a whole heck of a lot, though. Even if our opponent kills this, we still have one, two, three, however many they kill next turn. Which is why we're playing the Gate Colossus out first ahead of the Gate Breaker Ram. Even though the Gate Breaker Ram is going to be bigger, uh, we want to we want to play this when we kill them, so that's not going to matter a ton. Okay. All right, thirteen it is. 
So they are at a, a technical 18, which is not nearly enough. Not sure what this can be. Okay, we'll go to seven. And we're just going to play this. We're going to play another Colossus. Haste. Ram. Haste. We're going to get him for 32. Easy peasy. Uh, game five, we're going to keep this hand. We have Rhythm, Rowl, Gate Colossus, and Lands. Not a lot of early interaction or draw, but... As, as we saw last game, this deck is wildly resilient. Much more so than it deserves to be. And we'll play this one because we want green in case we draw a Growth Spiral. So we can play Steam Vents untapped and Growth Spiral next turn. Okay, we did not, but that's okay. We're going to go gate, gate, and then Rowl untapped on turn five. Yeah, we can still Rhythm of the Wild next turn. We may actually Gate Colossus early. Because it will cost four. A Zerta Goblin, okay. I feel much better... Uh, feel much better about our chances now that we're not playing... The gates mirror. Incubation druid? Oh, yeah. Okay. A gruel deck cannot match the speed of the gates. Sunder Shaman can destroy the Gate Colossus. So we may have to hold back. Unless, of course, we draw another Gate Colossus or a Ram. Get, or a Gates Ablaze and destroy all of our opponent's creatures. That's probably pretty good, too. You know. Well, I imagine that's uh, probably going to do it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a tough one to come back from. All right. Well, as predicted, uh, this deck is, I believe, the best deck in this format for sure. It's mostly commons and uncommons. I mean, I don't actually think it's any rares. I, I had a couple of shock lands, so I played those. I had two rouse, so I played those. Those are not necessary. All the necessary cards are commons and uncommons, so... As you can see, uh, easily dispatching our opponents, and we get a Sulphur Falls for our trouble. I believe this is our fourth, fourth Sulphur Falls, too, so this is this is actually great. That was a good pickup, so... Yep, Gates. Pretty powerful. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you want to support this show, go to patreon.com slash thinktwicemtg, and of course, search Think Twice MTG on all audio platforms, SoundCloud, iTunes, Google Play Music, Stitcher, and Spotify. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you next time.